the feed, so let's get into this tea. Honey sauce is actually beside me. <laughs> so, y'all, we're about to get into Drake uh, going back and forth with uh, Rihanna and her management right now. He also is going at it with Joe Budden, so we'll get into this in general. Now, apparently, or allegedly, I'm going to say, because he didn't necessarily say her name, but you know, shade is shade. And, of course, I'm not going to play this song uh, on my platform, so uh, just go listen to the song. The song is called Fear of Heights. But as you can see on the Neighborhood Talk, it said, Oop, fans suspect Drake of throwing shots at Rihanna on his new album, I'm Anti sex was average with you okay so he said that could have never be that could never be gal can't ruin me better him than me better it's not me i'm anti i'm anti yeah and the sex was average with you yeah i'm anti because i had it with you okay i'm auntie like your daddy sister auntie like a family picture and I had a way badder itch than you. TBH is actually what he said. He didn't even say to be honest. He said TBH in the song. Yeah, that man, he's still with you. He can't leave you. And I think he's also trying to insinuate that Sab Rocky is broke um, because he said he can't leave you. Um, so y'all let us know what y'all think down in the comments about that. Like, I don't know why Drake decides like 20, 10 years later, okay, that he's gonna, um, and this is alleged, that he's gonna diss Rihanna. I don't, <laughs> Rihanna is a family woman now. She's had her children. He's had a child. They are no longer, you know what I'm saying, in the young ages. I don't know what his point was. Let's see what some of the people had to say. How do you put two and two together and get five? Y'all make up your own narratives. Trust you ain't had nobody better than Riri. Drake makes music for men who think they can get pregnant. Oh my goodness. Uh, that's a Scorpio man for you. Him and Future the same. Uh, how did y'all get Riri in this? Um, BS him and ASAP are friends. Next topic. Uh, what am I missing? What that got to do with anything? I don't think Drake was talking about re, uh, how, and you know, Drake never really says, first of all, he never really throws out a name. Um, but he never, he never comes out and debunks anything either. So if he wasn't talking about her, I think that it would be best for him to come out and say, man, I ain't fucking talking about her, but I doubt he is. But anyway, the reason why we think, and I'm going to say the world thinks that he is, is because Rihanna's publicist slash manager, one of the two, came out and she, she put this on her story. Oh, wow. Now, this is absolutely, in fact, her manager slash publicist, whatever. As you can see, Rihanna is throughout her page, aside from obviously her being there. Uh, that's Cap. I literally just see her. <laughs> but at the top, uh, Rihanna's here. But everybody knows her to be her, pub I mean, her manager. So, oh, that's her choreographer. All right, choreographer. So this is another reason why when, when it comes to these topics, I'm going to let y'all know right now, new, not true. Some things I know, some things I don't. This is her choreographer, manager, publisher. I don't give a fuck. She posted this and I feel like it's in response to Drake because she's letting it be known. Like nigga, at one point you acted like you was really all up on her. Like, you know, it, it couldn't have been that bad, but this makes it even worse. The video was posted on it. Cause that kiss just kind of looks like where did that kiss come from? So he was giving her an award and he done slobbed her down a little bit on stage. <laughs> She came up there to accept the award and he just, <laughs> it looked like after he did that, Rihanna was like, yo, look her face, nigga. Hold on. After this, it's her face. She looked like she did not want that kiss and she absolutely did dodge that kiss. 
So whether that's her publisher, her manager, her choreographer, whatever, she let it be known if you're talking about my friend or if you're talking about the person that is, uh, you know, putting a bag in my pocket, sir, at one point you was a little thirsty, okay? So I just want to put that out there. Now, we're also about to get into, because what I did not get into last night is y'all a legend that my friend Krishan had that booger sugar in her uh her video. Now I just want to make this known she was with him and a lot more of the people in this studio. Now how the hell did y'all see this booger sugar in the corner? I have no idea. Like I don't be catching a lot of stuff because y'all send it to me. That's number one. I don't even have to go look for a shout out to y'all. But when we do get it, it's like, nigga. I don't know how y'all seen them crumbles of booger sugar on this wood. But I'm just going to say, I don't think that's Krishan's booger sugar. <laughs> I don't think that's hers at all. If anything, and I'm not going to say whose it is. I don't know. I wasn't there. But I would say it's the person who's sitting beside it. His foot is beside the booger sugar. His foot is beside the booger sugar. Y'all keep saying that shit look like a scratch in the table. That shit does not look like a scratch. <laughs> it really doesn't. Not that white. That shit does not. That's not a scratch, bro. But I will say, if it is lined booger sugar, it ain't hers. I would assume that the lined booger sugar would be the person that is sitting beside the damn line. Which would be him. His foot is right by that damn booger sugar, which as you can see, the circle is in adjacent. Okay, it's adjacent to his mm. foot, which would mean that would be his booger sugar. Okay, so y'all not going to put booger sugar on my friend. Okay, that's not what you're going to do. Now, for sure, I'm going to my damn nerves sometime. Love her. No. Yeah, you can't put no booger sugar on my friend. And she not sitting beside the booger sugar. She on her whole. Why would somebody do booger sugar and leave their booger sugar? That's like leaving your drink around. That's like leaving your blunt around. Why would I walk off from my booger sugar? Okay. So this white man who's sitting right here, who his foot is directly adjacent to that booger sugar. I'm just going to put it out there. She ain't sitting beside it. Now, I don't know who did it. I don't see it on nobody knows, quite frankly. But I'm just saying, I would assume it's the person beside the booger sugar. All right. Now, y'all let me know what y'all thinking down in the comment section below about that. We are done with this video. Um, do you think Krishan had uh, the booger sugar in the corner beside somebody else who, why would I leave my booger sugar around? Have you ever seen Krishan just after she done with the blunt, sit it beside somebody else? I just want to know. Also, um, Drake, do you think Drake was specifically speaking to Rihanna? All right. Do you think he was calling ASAP Rocky broke? Okay, uh, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. We're done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Shabai.